there, Vanagon Addicts. It's Ken Wilford here at Vanagon. We are back today to talk about installing a piston into a liner on a Vanagon, a water box, or engine. Should the same for the 1.9, 2.1. The first thing you're going to need, of course, is your piston and cylinder, which we have got right here, along with a handy dandy spring compressor tool that you're also going to need to purchase. I think I have them on our website, so maybe I'll put a link in the description. So the last thing we showed was honing the cylinder. Okay, we did that. Then we put inside here a copious amount of the Marble Mystery Oil. We wiped it all around in there, made it nice and lubricated. We also put a bunch on our piston, okay, uh, to make sure that it slides together real nice and easy. Okay, then what you want to do is put a bunch on your tool here, okay, to make sure that also will slide nice and easy. Um, as you're putting this in here, again, you want to make sure that these, this flat side here is going towards the front, uh, on this one, it's going to the center, okay. So because this is still, still cylinder number one, this is going to be towards the rear of the engine, this particular cylinder, okay. Um, and so you have to just kind of position it that way so that you know, you know, you can turn this once it's in here, but we showed you last time how to position your rings and all that stuff. You really don't want to have to like reposition it, okay? You want it to just um, go together and be done, okay? So I've got it in here with these two things, basically facing side to side exactly right in accordance to this this side piece here this flat piece okay and so I basically have got it ready so when you're tightening this up you have a special tool you have like a little driver tool right here they use to tighten this okay I would say as you're even loosening it you push this little button to loosen it you want to have the driver tool in because if you push this button without the driver tool the whole thing goes and it gets super big and it's a big hassle to get it back to normal size where you can use it. So you basically start putting the piston into the cylinder in the orientation you want. You put this tool on the top and you tighten it down as tight as it will go. Okay, so you want to tighten it as tight as it will possibly tighten, which I've already done. That way when you get to put this together, you know, there's nothing that's going to you know, pop apart or not be fully compressed or whatever. So you've got this thing fully compressed in here. And you're going in from this top direction. You don't want to try to go in from the bottom direction because it's not uniform. It's got these little cutouts here, the skirt. Okay, you don't want to do that. So we've got this in here the way we want to go. I know I'm talking a lot, but I'm trying to cover questions people might have. Make sure this tool is pushed all the way down against the top of this. And then you use your special tool, which I've got set up right here, which is a piece of wood in a vise pointing up. That's what I've used. It seems to work the best. I don't know why, it just does. So, and this is just a ball peen hammer. I got clamped in the vise here. Um, you flip this thing over like this, okay? You put it down in here and you just hit it real fast. This is like two taps, right? Now it's in here. No damage happened to anything because it did it real quick. It's almost like that trick where you pull the, you know, the, t the table cover off the table real fast. Like the faster you do it, the less chance of something bad happening. So if you're being like real meek about it, like tap, tap, it's gonna like pop apart and you're gonna have to start over. But if you do it just real, quick and fast. It just goes in real fast and quick. Then once you get it in there, you can kind of tap it a little bit. Get these. You want to tap it so that you're accessible, right, to be able to put your pin in and get ready to put this thing back in the engine. Okay, so that's really it about installing a piston into a cylinder for a water box or vanagon. I know 
Uh, I tried to make it be as comprehensive as possible, but that's pretty much it. But I'll tell you what, it's one of the things that it actually does take a little bit of time. You probably won't get it on the very first try unless you just are some one of those people that's not cautious at all and you're just like, Toom, just boom, do it. Because I'm telling you, if you are like me and super cautious and you're like, oh, I wonder how much pressure it takes on some of stuff. It'll take you about three or four tries to get it together like that. Uh, I mean, I just did this four times, three times already on this motor. So any, you know, holdups I had about doing it is done. So you get it to this point. Now we're ready to put the piston into the engine. Okay. Uh, we will cover that on the next video. So again, guys, like, share, subscribe, become a member. And I will say your name on a video and you will be an amazing person that everyone envies. Okay. Uh, so that's it. We'll see you guys in the next video.